you know, being being the third uh, Punjabi player in the uh, NHL, it's it's really cool. I think the older I'm getting, the the more I'm appreciating it for sure. And um, you know how big of an impact it it is uh, for the kids around. I mean, for the South Asian community. Well, we're pleased to be joined by uh, Jujar Kerr of the Edmonton Oilers, who uh, isn't too far from Edmonton, uh, just outside of Vancouver in the White Rock area. Uh, what was it like for you to kind of to head home and be uh, self-quarantined and really isolated uh, on your own? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely nice to, um, you know, be back home. when Or the time I came back, it was the weather here was a little nicer than uh, in Edmonton, so got to i mean enjoy some some sunlight out here but uh from what i'm hearing that the weather's pretty nice out there as well so um but right now yeah uh, quarantine's been it's been good i've i've been fortunate enough to see my family kind of hang out with them and uh, other than that not a lot going on oh, what uh, what role has your family kind of played in your uh you know your movement uh, all the way up to being a, a regular now with the national hockey league edmonton oilers uh, yeah, a huge, a huge role. Um, you know, I think, or I know without them, I wouldn't be uh, where I am today. And, uh, you know, for all, for everything they've done, I mean, early morning practices, um, all the extra, you know, power skating and all that, uh, a lot of hours spent at rinks and a lot of sacrifices made from, from everybody in the family. And, uh, you know, if, if you were to ask them, there would be no sacrifices. But, uh, you know, looking back now, they, they definitely they definitely made it uh, made it very fun for me and something that I wanted to pursue. You decided to go the Western Hockey League uh, route with Everett. Uh, what was the mindset in just kind of changing your approach to eventually getting to the National Hockey League? Yeah, it was, um, you know, I loved college. And, uh, you know, if I stayed, I, I also would have been happy. But for me, it was, I wanted to play, I wanted to play more games and have a more professional um, schedule of play at the time. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was great for me as well. I got to play in almost every league and I uh, got to experience them. And, you know, I can relate now to, you know, if college guys are talking about their experiences or uh, Western Hockey League guys are talking about their experiences, uh, you know, it's cool to be a part of both. And, uh, Everett, Everett was great for me. I thought playing that many games and uh, learning more of a defensive style game in, in Everett was great. When you look at uh, your growth as a, as a player, I mean, you had to, you kind of had to do it the old fashioned way. You, you worked your way up, you were in the minors. So what was that like for you to eventually get to Edmonton in a spot with the Oilers? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, it was, it was a grind for sure, but it was a grind that I definitely wanted to be a part of. Um, the American Hockey League for me was really, it made me the player I am today. I think, uh, you know, being down in the American League, I got to play more, play against better players. And, um, you know, it prepared me to make the jump up to the NHL. And, um, you know, without the American League, I don't think I would, I would be in the NHL. And I think uh, developmentally, it really, really did help me. What's it like being on a, a young, fast, exciting team with stars like Leon Drysaddle and Connor McDavid and a team that was kind of really getting ready for the playoffs? Yeah, it, it was exciting this year. I mean, especially from the years before, a couple, a couple down years and uh, coming, coming into this year and the success we had, it was, it was a lot of fun. I, I see, um, you know, how fun it can be for the to get to the playoffs the first couple of years it was kind of tough knowing uh you were out of the playoffs when we did but you know coming into the rank day in and day out knowing we have a chance to um you know be be atop of our division and um you know battle against great teams for 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 spots for the playoffs i mean especially with such a tight race this year every game was so important uh, your role on the team with, uh, you know, some star-studded uh, line mates and teammates, what do you think you do best or need to do best in order to be successful? Yeah, I think uh, penalty killing is a big part of my game. Um, you know, that's one thing that I, that I really take pride on. And, um, you know, that's one thing 
I, I want to be very consistent and help the team in that aspect. Um, you know, five on five, but I definitely, um, I need to be a consistent player for the team. You know, we have a lot of scoring power as it is. And, uh, you know, I need to be someone that, that is trusted defensively and, uh, you know, that can chip in once in a while as well. Well, Robin Bawa, back in the late 1980s, was the first player of Punjabi descent to make it to the NHL. But a decade later, a, a better known, uh, Manny Maholtra, made it. Uh, can you just describe your upbringing and just how proud you are to, to be the third player of Punjabi descent to make it to the National Hockey League? Yeah, I mean, I think my upbringing was, uh, you know, like any other other kid growing up playing hockey. My parents were you know, very great about every opportunity that anybody else got. I think we, or yeah, we received as well. And, um, you know, for me, that was huge. I, ne I never felt like, um, you know, I was getting, or I was a step behind or anything because everything or everything anybody else was doing, I was, I was able to do. And, um, you know, that's, that's big. I even have, uh, you know, some family, uh, just saying how lucky, lucky we were the way, um, you know, our parents, our parents dedicated themselves to putting us in sports and trying different sports and kind of finding what we love. And I think it is a big, big impact. And, um, you know, if it kind of gives, gives, uh, you know, the South Asian community hope that, um, you know, they have a chance to make it to the, anybody can play the game. And, um, you know, if you work hard and you love it, I think, uh, you know, things will work out. We're just going to finish with some rapid fire questions. Your favorite dessert? Uh, probably uh, molten lava cake. <laughs> that that sounds good, and I know it is good. Uh, childhood hero? Childhood hero? Uh, probably it's for sure my parents. Favorite arena to play in? Uh, favorite arena? I would say I love playing in Edmonton. Actually, it's it's always a great atmosphere. Favorite sports movie? Sports movie? Uh, let's go Slap Shots. <laughs> and uh, finally, what would you be doing if you weren't playing in the NHL? Um, I have never, ever thought about that because I really do not know. I think there's been times where I've started to think about it but i cannot give you an answer about that because i haven't thought too much past the nhl at this point <laughs> well you got lots of time still to go in the nhl uh, jujar and hopefully not too much time before everyone's back playing in the nhl i really appreciate it and hope to see you at the rink soon yeah thanks gene i really appreciate it and stay safe <laughs>